Hi everyone, this is Vignesh from VNMU. Today we are going to see about atherosclerosis. From the name itself, we can define what is atherosclerosis. Arthero, this means artery. And sclerosis, this is hard, uh, harden. Harden to the arteries. The RN is caused by a plague which is called arthromatous plague. plague. The plague which is made up of fat, cholesterol, calcium, low density lipoproteins or any other substances in blood. These are the substances which make the plaque. So it's flat, fat, cholesterol, calcium, low density lipoproteins or any other substances in the blood. First we will see what are the causes which lead to the arteriosclerosis. First, high blood pressure. If the person is having hypertension, it leads to high pressure in the arteries, which make damage to the arteries, which lead to atherosclerosis. There is a pressure in the arteries, and the patient patient is having diabetes. The patient is a diabetes lead to high level of glucose in the blood which is called hyperglycemia which make damage to the uh, arteries which leads to atherosclerosis and genetic gene abnormalities which lead to atherosclerosis the patient is a smoker, smoking, due to smoking there is a release of some toxins into the blood, it's damage to the uh, arteries walls and it leads to atherosclerosis. And diet, mainly we, we need high density lipoproteins, the patient is taking more LDL, low density lipoproteins, which make damage to the artery walls and it leads to atherosclerosis. Now so we will see the complications. Complications mainly stroke. If there is a, a plaque or a atherosclerosis in the cerebral arteries, it may block in the arteries, it leads to uh, uh, stroke so, uh, and then kidney problems and third one is coronary artery disease These are the three main complications the patient is having atherosclerosis which may lead to stroke or kidney problems or coronary artery disease. We already discussed about uh, the layers which present in the arteries. Let's see. There is a endothelial layer and then we have a tunica intima, tunica media, tunica adventia. In, uh, these artery walls, we have a endothelial, uh, endothelial layers or endothelial cells, and then tunica uh, intima, tunica media, tunica adventia. This plaque or a substance, this, this substance which make damage to this endothelial layer. So there is a formation of plaque. 
which is called atherosclerosis. We will see briefly. Um, I'm labeling only the uh, endothelial layer. This is the endothelial layer. This is the uh, assume this is the artery uh, layers, which is a tunica media, adventia, and the intima, and the endothelial layer. Flow, is a blood flow. In the blood flow, there is a high BP and low density lipoproteins, cholesterols, and the toxins. Moving through with the blood, it's damage the endothelial layer okay it damage the endothelial layer which make the initial lesions like you see in the microscope this is the initial lesion lesions the damage of the endothelial layer And the substance which deposit in the endothelial layers, which is called fatty stick. Fatty stick. When the substances which are accumulated or deposited in the endothelial layer it gonna oxidize going to oxidized and it's, it's give signal to the immune system When the substance is oxidized, which gives signal to the immune system. When the immune system is activated, first the monocyte, the monocytes will come to this site because there is a problem to the endothelial layers, so it has to clear. So the monocyte will come. Uh, first of all, the monocyte will come to this site. This monocyte will change to macrophage. This is the macrophage. This macrophage. What is the main role of this macrophage? Next macrophage engulf or eat these substances these are substances the macrophage will eat macrophage will eat this substance and the substance is full of full of cholesterol. When the macro when the macrophage eat the substance, it will die. Macrophage dies 
and it's look like foam cells foam cells cell wbc wbc cell so the macrophage eats and it look like a foam cell it's full of cholesterol the wbc cells when the foam cells dies it releases cytokines cytokines releases some cytokines the cytokines go to the immune system and call i need a help so again monocyte will come again the monocyte will change to macrophages blood flow again and again there is a accumulate of this materials and again monocytes will come macrophages will come and it will engulf During this, we are also we are a smooth muscles and the three layers. This smooth muscle will sense something is happening to the layers. So the smooth muscle will move to the plate. smooth muscle will sense something is happening to the endothelial layers so the smooth muscle will migrate to this plate and the smooth muscle will secrete some materials like protein elastin and which make fibrils cap make fibrous cap, cap because if the plaque form there is a block of blood flow so the smooth muscle sends i don't need this material some of the toxic materials is accumulated in the endothelial layers so smooth muscle will migrate to the plaque and it secrete some substances which make fibrous cap Fibrous cap, and then this smooth muscle release C A calcium C A two plus. The calcium will go and accumulate to this plaque, which make the plaque harder. This is called. arthromatous plaque the smooth muscles will sense and migrate to this plaque and the smooth muscles will release some proteins elastins and fibers and which make the plaque with the fibrous cap and the smooth muscles will secrete calcium the calcium will deposit uh, inside the plate which made the plate harder which is arthromatous plate during where after there is a enlargement rupture of the plate rupture of this plate and the thrombogenic factors is activated and then it make the blood clot blood clot formation so 
there is a formation of plate clot. This stage is called thrombogenic plate. This is a process of atherosclerosis. First of all, we have a smooth mucus layer and then we have a tunica adventia, tunica media, tunica intima and endothelial layers. When there is a high blood pressure, uh, low density lipoproteins or uh, toxins which are moving along with the blood, these substances which make damage to these endothelial layers which make the initial lessons and accumulation of the substances is called fatty stick. When the substance is accumulated in the endothelial layer, it is then oxidized. The oxidization, uh, oxidized these uh, substances which give signal to the immune system. The immune system is activated which release monocytes. The monocyte is converted to the macrophage. The macrophage which eats or engulf this fatty stick because there is a problem to the endothelial layers which make the blood flow block. So this macrophage eat this uh, fatty stick. When the macrophage eat the macrophage and the, when it's a macrophage eat this uh, uh, substance and it's dyed. The dyed cells is called Forbes cells. It's a full of cholesterol. And this cells is called WBC. It's a full of WBC cells. This cell is called foam cells. This foam cells is then release cytokine. So again the immune system is activated. Monocyte will come. Macrophages will come. And then this system will uh, again continue, which made the plague little bit, little bit bigger. So when and then the smooth muscle sense something is happening to the endothelial layer. So I, I want to help the endothelial layer. So the smooth muscle will migrate to the plague, which go inside the plague, and then the smooth muscle which releases some uh, collagen, elastin, some fibers so which make the plaque which, which cover the plaque that the cover that cover is called fibrous cap when the cap is made and then the plaque lit little bit bigger inflammation so it ruptures the rupture of the plaque which make the formation of blood clot fibrinogen activation that is a block of a block blood clot that is called thrombogenic plague so this is a process of atherosclerosis i can clear everyone understand thanks for watching we will continue to some other topics and some other videos